Hey, this is GDibsy here with another sound software tutorial, and today I'm going to be talking about plugins. Um, so the difference between plugins and samples is pretty simple. Samples are pre-recorded sound files, MP3s, or WAV files that um, that you can you know modify and arrange however you want. Um, but with plugins, you have a lot more freedom because they actually generate their own sounds, and each plugin is a little bit different. And you can get plugins for many different things from like drums to you know synthesizers to pianos to pretty much everything so the first thing you need to know how to do is how to add plugins into FL Studio say maybe if you downloaded them a lot of them are free uh, for example Red Eyes are here so what I'm gonna be adding in so all you gotta do is go to your start menu computer whatever drive is your main one go to program files times 86 image line and FL Studio 10. It's really useful to make um, shortcuts to these folders. For example, I have a shortcut on my desktop to uh, Packs. It makes it a lot easier to add stuff into there. Um, then just go to Plugins and VST. And then all you gotta do is drop a drag and drop whatever you downloaded in there. And now it's in there. And now you gotta get FL Studio to recognize it. So go to Channels, Add One, and More, and then Refresh <coughs> Fast Scan. So now it picked it up. There we go. So now I can go to Add One, Red Eyes there it is so um, a couple of my favorite plugins one that actually comes with FL Studio is FL Keys, really simple this is a piano one and if you want to make it sound a little more realistic assign a free mixer track add some reverb yeah, okay that's good maybe add a f some kind of filter whatever you want to do So I'm gonna make a really quick pattern here. Alright, so there's a simple uh, piano pattern. Alright, so we can put that one into the actual. Put it in there. Um, so now I'm going to add another one. One of my favorite plugins is uh, Citrus, <coughs> comes with the signature bundle. So it's really useful to have a lot of presets and a bunch of your plugins so you can pretty much go to these sounds whenever you want really quickly. So add in a I'll add in a dead mouse trance pluck here. And make a new pattern for it really quick. quickly so I don't get a bunch of clipping. I'm going to add a limiter to the master volume.
check up on that pattern. just control the cutoff frequency for this. So Yeah, so that's just a little quick snippet from a couple, just two really quick plugins that you can access. Um, so yeah, add in any kind of plugins you want here. And uh, oh, 3xOSC is another default plugin that comes with FL Studio. You can make quite a few sounds and obviously use a lot of presets. One really useful thing is a uh, white noise filter, and just go, you just uh, choose on, on all three oscillators. You choose those three, and um, maybe assign this to a free mixer track. Show you how to do this really quick. Um, add a fruity filter, and then automate the cutoff frequency. Um, usually, I do the low pass. And yeah, those alone, and then obviously the volume. So now, I'll make another one called white noise. I'm just I'm just kind of showing you guys what um, all these plugins can do. And I'll put a note here. So it sounds pretty bad. It sounds just like it's just a white noise. But if you automate it the right way, it could sound really cool. All right, so now it's just like one big note. And so we have all three of these. So we got the cutoff frequency, the low pass, and then the volume down here. Volume is obviously most important, so that's going to go from low to high. Same to low pass. And it's, oh, that's the cutoff frequency. That's the volume. There we go. All right. So then after this, we'll just fade them out. See what this sounds like. <laughs> That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, so that's just what a few of the plugins in FL Studio can do. And obviously, there's a lot of really good ones. A lot of really popular ones for electronic music are plugins like Nexus, uh, Zeta, and then obviously like Citrus, Harmer, and Harmless. These are really good ones. And I made a few of my own you know, custom presets. Like, uh, oh, oh this, is a, this is a cool one. <laughs> A filthy base. So that's plugins. Um, in my next tutorial, I'm going to be covering um, 
basically all of the effects that you can add to any kind of sample or plugin, anything you add to the mixer track, and um, all the effects that come with FL Studio and stuff that you can add, such as auto tune and a bunch of other ones. Um, yeah, so those are really useful, and together, once you master kind of how to use um, samples, plugins, and all the effects, then you can really kind of take off with making music. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Have a good day.